Okay, this illusion, this optical illusion, is designed to show uh, Parando's paradox. And it's kind of cool. So we begin here with just regular selected down here. And if I click go, then you can see that the ball is kind of moving down this, I don't know if you want to call it a staircase or what, but it's very clearly sliding down. Um, so that could be game A, right? And then if I click over here, here's flashing. So the ball is also moving down, but you can see it's a little different, right? Um, but I think that's sort of an optical way of understanding uh, game B. Um, you can go up, but most of the time you go down. And if you stay on this kind of weird staircase, you, you this escalator, you definitely are, are headed down. Now, here we go. Watch this. You ready? Okay, I'm going to click both. This is uh, slightly mind-blowing. Here we go. Okay, I click both. Now they've been put together, and you can see this odd, you know, situation where the ball is no longer moving down. It's definitely moving up. The, both of the stairs or the escalators are moving down, but somehow it catches it and then pushes it up. And I think this is a kind of an optical illusion kind of way to understand uh, Parando's paradox. I'm going to go ahead and click fast here just so you can see what fast does. It just obviously makes it go faster and you can push the ball up a lot faster. And if, once again, just to repeat, if you go regular, so that's the ball moving down and that's game A. And if you go flashing, that's the ball moving down and that's kind of game B, although that one's kind of really herky-jerky. And if you do both, Somehow, working in unison, both games, somehow they push the ball up. And I think that's a pretty faithful uh, kind of optical way of understanding what Parando's paradox is. Hope you enjoyed that. Bye.